so in the series of learning python programming language in the previous video we have seen python list what is list why we use list advantages of using list characteristics of list some, some functions we can use with uh, list like list methods right now in this video we'll talk about randomization so more specifically if i say then we'll talk about random module right now what is randomization and why we need see in our daily life like when you play that uh, any dice game right and when you throw a dice then any number can be there between 1 to 6 right like you are playing ludo or any other game so, but the, the number would be between 1 to 6 1 and 6 both are included like 1 2 3 4 5 6 any number can be there if you are playing that game tetris game the block which is falling from you know upside which is completely random we cannot predict like it would be a t or a square or what is that block the next block right if you know what is the next block then definitely it would be no fun to you know in playing those games so that is what randomization right so same when you write these kind of develop these kind of games in you know program in programming also we need randomization so how you can create that randomization in computer programming in you know through your programs how can you write down those programs right so in python there is a inbuilt module which is called random module you don't have to write down the complete code behind that randomization you know that maths and all behind that thing right so python use that mersenne twister algorithm for uh, pseudo uh, you know a random number generator program uh, algorithm right if you want to read then you can read that algorithm if you are really interested in going into you know into that much detail then you can go through that algorithm but they have already created so random is an inbuilt module in python you just have to use it that's it like if you want to drink coconut water so aisa to nahi hai ki aap ghar pe coconut water ke ped lagaoge aur wahan se tod ke aap coconut water piyoge right someone has already done that work for you and you will just go to market and buy coconut water and you will just drink right so same here also someone has already done that work for you someone has already created random module you can directly use that module and you can do whatever you want to do you can use that functions whatever is there in that module right so there is a random module in python so how you can import that module in your program if you are writing your program then you have to import first of all that module so what you will write like this import and random now this is the module now whatever functions are there in this module like uh, uh, to create a random integer or to generate random floating point number to uh, if there is a sequence like a list or a tuple or a set from that if you want to choose a specific or sorry a random number a random item sorry then you can there is also a specific uh, function for that thing also right within that within a specific range if you want to you know pick a random number random item then also you can pick so these functions are already there in this module you can directly use that those functions in your program and that's it you don't have to go you know what is behind the scene the logic the code the maths and all right so what we can see basically random this this module is a inbuilt module in python that is used to generate pseudo random number not random number it's pseudo random numbers because these numbers are not you can say truly random these are deterministic right these are not truly random that is why we cannot use this this thing for you know security purpose right there are some functions let me just write down those functions first so these are few functions see rand int function will pass two argument a and b it means it will return a random integer number between a and b right and these a and b are both are included both inclusive rand range a and b this also returns an integer number between a and b but in this case what is the difference from this function a would be included the first number but b is not included right so here if the like a number would be a less than uh, sorry if it will return a number x so that would be something like this in this range 
right greater than a or equal to a less than b or equal to b but here only a is included b is not included it would be less than b b is not included random this is module also this is function also right so it will return a floating point number and by default the range would be of that floating point number would be 0.0 to or let me just write down something like this less than equal to x and less than 1.0 this would be included but it is the one is not included it would be less than one only like 0 0.9999 something like this but not one so it will return a floating point number uniform if you want to this will return a floating point number but if you want to give a particular range then we will use that uniform function choice if you want to select a particular sorry a random item from a sequence sequence means it can be a list or a set or a tuple then we use this function so, so shuffle means if you want to shuffle any sequence let me just show you how can you can use these functions in your program so let's create a new file for this random underscore module dot py so first of all we have to import the random module then whatever function in that module we can use those, those functions so import random right now first thing we are using rand int function right so the range i am giving like 1 comma 3 and whatever it will return so this is this is the function right so how you can use this function in your program it's not like that directly use this function rand int and whatever it will return let me just uh, store that into a variable a a is equal to this right and just print a this is not okay what will happen let me just show you right let's change this to current file and let's run this see one error the name ran int is not defined because this is defined in this module so for use for use you know to use these function you have to first write down the name of the module dot the function as you can see see we have just uh, pressed that uh, dot and you can see the function rand int shuffle uniform random rand range all these function choice choices many functions are there right all these functions so now let me just run this and show you what output you will get see at this time we are getting one so it will return an integer between the range of one and three but one and three both are included so you can get one also two also three also let me just run this again this time we are getting three let me just run this again this time again three three again one this time we are getting two right so the range you can take like one to seven this time we are getting seven like this right now let me just use another rather than this we are using a rand range function and you will see the difference now now a is equal to random module dot this rand range let us just provide uh, like uh, 1 comma 3 same i am providing between 1 and 3 but here you can get 1 and 2 only 3 is not included 1 is included 3 is not included so let's run this so you are getting 2 this time 1 now 1 1 again 2 1 right but you are not getting 3 so in rand range this 3 would not be included right okay now i don't want uh, integer number i want the uh, uh, that uh, floating point number so this time in a i'm storing floating point number so random dot random and a module name and function name also so it will return floating point number between 0, 0.0 to 1.0 but 1.0 is not included let's just run this see this is the number let's run this again see again again every time you are getting a different number or maybe sometimes you can get same number right but most of the time you will get different number right but i want a float number in a range like uh, between 2 and 5 right 
So, for that random is by default taking range 0 to 1. So, for that we will use uniform. So, in the next line we are taking a is equal to random dot uniform and let us just provide a range between 1 comma 3. Let us take the same range. See 1.9. This will give you floating point number every time different number. Now let us uh, take one list and from this list I want a random number right. So for that we will use what random dot and choice. In choice in this function we will just pass the argument list L. Now let us run this and see it will print it is printing 9p so it has chosen this number this time again 56 again if we run 2 so any random item from the sequence you can choose right if you want to shuffle the list then we can just random dot rather than choice we can use what shuffle and in bracket in argument just pass the list right and just now print this list right rather than a because this is complete list. So, just use this and print now L. It will shuffle this list. So, let us run this and see. Now, 89 is at first place then we got 90 like this. Shuffle has shuffled the items in this list. Let us run this again and this time you will get different thing right. Here in the documentation you can go like uh, in Python document, documentation you can go this is the random module and you can just read this out. There are many function right see there are many functions here. Function for integer we have discussed this like rand, range, rand, int. Some functions we have discussed like choice we have discussed shuffle and this random we have discussed for floating number this uniform right. So, I hope you got basic idea of randomization, random module and what are different functions you can use in Python, you know. We haven't discussed all the function, you can go through all the functions, right. We have you, we have discussed some basic functions only, right. Now, in the next video, we will see one coding exercise. In that exercise, this randomization would be very important, this topic. That is why I have discussed this thing, the basics of this thing only, not in detail, right. So, now I will see you in the next video, till then, bye-bye, take care.